Hey guys, here's where I've been for the past two and a half weeks. So we just got back from that trip yesterday and that entire video was filmed with my Sony a6000 and my Sony 35 f 1.8 lens, the entire thing. Uh, in fact, this is what I packed with us. Um, let me show you this up close. So this is a Lowen Pro, the model is SH1102 Adventura. I will try to find it on Amazon and link it. But in here, I packed a Wasabi charger. If you have not already purchased the Wasabi battery pack, it comes with this and two batteries for the A6000, definitely check it out. I've had my kit for a year and a half, maybe two years, no issues. The Wasabi batteries are great. They're just like OEM batteries. In here, I stuffed two cameras. So right here is the tiny a5100. This is for my wife and her for her vlogging. And here is my a6000 and the 35 millimeter lens. In the front pocket, two more batteries. So this is the camera and lens that I used with me everywhere that I went. Very compact, very small. And those of you who have been watching my channel for a while already probably know how much I like the Sony 35 f 1.8. It is by far my favorite lens for the E-mount and it continues to impress me the more that I use it. Very easy to use, focuses quickly, it's very sharp, especially if you stop it down to f2 or f2.2. It's light, it's compact, it has optical steady shot, so all of those shots that you saw in the video were handheld. Some were a little shaky, but 
it helps smooth out at least the small shakes. It's a very easy lens to use. In fact, the majority of the shots where it was just my wife and I were taken by complete strangers. I just handed them my camera and I said, hey, click the button. So pretty impressive. And none of those shots, none of the videos were edited whatsoever, no color correction. They were just straight out of the camera. Um, from the a6000s when people ask me what is the one lens that you would recommend for the a6000 this is always the one that i recommend now it is expensive it's about 400 dollars on amazon so you are paying a bit for it but the way i look at it is this way when i buy this lens for 400 dollars, i can use it for the next two to three years four years five years six years and probably still end up selling it later on for $350, $300. Even used right now, they're going for $350, $380. So if I lose $50, if I lose $100 and I get to use this lens over the course of that three to five, 10 year period, why not? If it allows me to shoot those types of videos as I showed at the beginning of this video and take those types of portraits, why not make the investment and use this lens? And eventually if something else comes out that's better, or if I end up not liking it, I can always sell it used. So if you guys have not checked out the Sony 35 f1.8, definitely do it. I'll post a link down below to Amazon. That is going to be it for this video. Stay tuned for future videos because I've been gone on vacation for so long. I'm about three weeks backed up on other videos. So as always, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for all the likes and all the support, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. I almost forgot to mention my wife who has been vlogging our entire trip through Denmark, Italy, and Switzerland will be releasing some videos on her channel. So check that out if you are interested. Uh, you can subscribe to her channel down below. I'll post a link. So thank you guys. See you later.